Hey guys, I am going to show you how we are going to make our own Monarch Butterflies step by step. Our Monarch Butterfly is going to be different in the sense that half is going to look like a regular Monarch Butterfly and half is going to look like flowers. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start in the middle of our paper. I'm using a pen so you can see my lines better, but I would recommend that you guys use a pencil in case you need to erase. And we're just gonna start in um, the middle, that middle part of the butterfly. So I'm gonna start um, and make like an oval shape for the head. And underneath that, I'm gonna make another oval shape. This one's gonna be a little bit bigger. And underneath that, so my butterfly is gonna have three sections to the main part of his body. I'm gonna make another oval, but this one's gonna be longer and it's gonna kinda of go to a point at the bottom. Okay, once you have that, you wanna start at the bottom of this first oval and we're gonna make lines for the wings, but I want you to make them lightly. So you're gonna make lines curve out one way, curve out the other way. Try to make them the same size, um, you know, if not, then it's okay. You do the best you can. Okay, so once you have these two curved lines, you're gonna start close to where you started, go down a little bit, and you're gonna make two more lines curve down on each side. So they're gonna be a little shorter and they're gonna be angled down more. Okay, and once you have that, you're going to make a, a curvy line on one side. So it's almost gonna like curve in and then back out again, okay? And I'm making my lines nice and sketchy. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So curve in and back out. Okay, so I have the top two wings done. So when I do the bottom wings, I'm gonna start close to the edge and I'm just gonna make a line curve down on each side more. So it's curving more down. And I'm gonna curve it back over and up toward the body. Okay, and my lines are really sketchy. This side's a little bigger, whatever. Well, you know, I'm not gonna take a ruler and measure each side of your butterfly. All right, so once you have this, you can go ahead and give your butterfly some little antennas. And you can go in and make some curvy lines inside this part here for the body. Okay, now you're gonna point to the right side, okay? This side of our butterfly, we are going to fill in with flowers. So a lot of these lines we're gonna end up erasing. And then this side of our butterfly, we're gonna keep more realistic. So I want you to go to the left side and on the left side, I want you to make another line that follows the same edge. And then I want you to go down to the bottom wing and I want you to make another line that follows that bottom edge as well.
and I want you to make some circle shapes. They can be close together, different sizes, but in that edge that you created, you're gonna make circles because monarchs have these white dots on the edge of their wings. Okay. Once you have that done, we're gonna come over to this side. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make a big flower shape, kind of like right in this area, okay? So these lines here, you're eventually going to erase. So what I want you to do is you're gonna overlap, just go right over it, and you wanna make a circle. And at the top of your circle, you're gonna make two lines that go up at the top. And you're gonna connect them by making kind of like a curve like you did here, but it's gonna go like that. Okay, and then at the bottom of that, I'm just gonna make two lines that kind of come up. So this is one flower petal. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make two lines coming out. Make a curve at the edge, two lines from the center. I'm gonna make two lines coming out, curve at the edge, two lines from the center. And I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around Two lines coming out, curve at the edge, lines from the center. And I would say that I could probably fit two more in here. So I'm gonna do two lines, curve the edge, two lines from the center circle, and then I'll do one more petal. That petal's a little closer, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my first flower. So I'm gonna go down to the corner of my wing and I'm gonna make another flower similar to that, but it's gonna be a little smaller, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing, make those two lines, connect them. And this one, I think I have five petals, but you make as many petals that will fit around your circle, okay? So I've now I've got these two flowers. So then in my upper wing, I'm gonna make another flower similar to this. And I'm gonna put one right here. And I'm, I'm making my flowers real sketchy and then I can add in the details later. But I just wanna show where my flowers are gonna go. And I'm gonna put one more flower up at the edge right here. So same style. I'm gonna make the petals going around it. Okay. So the last thing I wanna do is I wanna put a smaller flower here, a little different. So this flower is gonna be like a tulip. So it's gonna look like a wide letter U. Okay, and I'm gonna put a line up the center. And I'm gonna make a line around that center line. And then I'm gonna start on one side and curve out to the right and curve out to the left. And then I'm gonna make 
kind of like a curve up at the top. Okay, and at the bottom of that, I'm just gonna make a dark oval and make kind of like a stem curving down. Okay, and then in the rest of the space, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some leaf shapes. So I'm gonna make a leaf shape here. Make a leaf shape fit in here. Fit a leaf shape in here. Maybe I want a little leaf shape coming off the edge here. Make a leaf over there. I want a couple little leaves up at the top. Okay, I'll do a couple leaves. Right here. And then I'm gonna do little details. I'm gonna make these curvy lines with little ovals at the end. Like these are little buds that are about to bloom. So wherever I see space, maybe I want to make these lines. Like that. Okay. When you're done with all of this, you want to go back in and erase wherever you see the outside edge of your wing. You want to erase that. Okay, so I would erase this part, this part, this part, so that all I can see are just the flowers and the leaves. Okay, now I'm just going to assume that you have crayons at home. And we're just going to go with that. If you have color pencils, great. If you have markers, that's fine. Use what you got. But when I begin to add color, I'm gonna go to the Monarch Butterfly side. And I'm gonna start with red. I've got warm colors, okay? So red, orange, and yellow, those are my warm colors. I'm gonna start closest to the center with my red, and I'm gonna go out towards the edge. And as I go out, the further I go out, the lighter I lift the crayon. I lift up with my the pressure of my hand. Same thing on the bottom wing. I'm gonna press a little harder with the red. Closest to the body is gonna be red. And as I go away, I'm gonna lift up and put less pressure. So next I'm gonna take my orange. I'm gonna overlap with my orange. And I'm going to come out towards the edge of the wing. And I'm going to lift up the pressure as I get toward the edge. So I'm going to press harder, overlap. And then as I come up, lift up so it looks like it's a little bit lighter. Okay. And then I'm going to take my yellow crayon. I'm gonna overlap the orange and I'm gonna bring that all the way out to the edge of the wing. So I should see a gradual change from the red to the orange to the yellow. So what you wanna do now is you wanna take your black. If you have a black crayon, use your black crayon, black marker, whatever you got. And I'm going to fill in most of the body, trace over these lines, trace the antenna. I'm going to trace the edge of the wings. Okay, my marker is kind of dry, but you get the idea. Okay, when I get to the very edge where these dots are, so you wanna 
go around the, the circles. Go around all these circle shapes and fill in the space around them. So your circles stay white, the space around them is black. And this is a little time consuming, but be patient. If you need to, pause the video, get up, go to the bathroom, grab some flaming Hot Cheetos, jump up and down, do some jumping jacks, sing a song, do what you gotta do to wake up. Okay, and refocus. So now I have the edge black with the white dots. Okay, I'm just gonna go over that. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom wing. I like to trace the circles and then color in between them. Okay. So once you have this done, you've got the edge of your wings black, you've got the white polka dots, now you can go in and add the lines inside the wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up at the top. I'm going to start at the body and just make one long line come out, go in the same direction as the wing. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to start at that line and just make some lines branching off of that to the edge of the wing. Okay. When I go to the bottom wing, I'm going to make a line that comes out the same direction as the bottom wing. but then I'm gonna make another line going the opposite way, like that. Okay, then above that, I'm gonna kinda make lines that look like a U going across, and then I'm going to make some lines filling in that bottom area. Okay? If you feel like your wings could use some more lines, then you can add a couple more lines. It's up to you. Uh, you'll have to ignore the background noise that would be Juliana and John Michael who are not quiet like they should be. Okay. So once you have your wings done, you got your monarch side, okay, you're happy with it, you can go over to this side and you can color your flowers however you want. So maybe you wanna do cool colors on the right side because these are warm colors. It's totally up to you. So I'm just gonna go in, kind of give you an idea. I can make some blue flowers. I can make all my leaves green, purple, whatever, whatever you want. If you wanna use warm colors on that side too, go for it, okay? You can trace over these little buds. Okay, however you want. But the idea is you've got this finished monarch side and then you've got the flowers here that imply the shape of the wing, okay? When you're done, if you want to, if you wanna take colors and just kinda make designs around the edge, you can do that. I can do different shades going around it. So 
So you decide how you want to do your background, okay? All right, I'm going to bring it on down for you, okay? So take your time, have fun with it. Let me know if you have any questions. I know you'll do a super fabulous job. Peace out.